Hey there, Libra. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, I missed you guys too. <laughs> I can hear you guys. Oh, the love. I love you guys too. Um, I, I lost my spot <laughs> in my opening now. Yes, this is going to be a general message. Take what fits your situation and leave what doesn't. If none of this has anything to do with what you're going through right now, just try a different message. Please keep in mind that you have many different birth charts and many different signs between them. So don't let a reading deter you just because it's not your sun sign. All right, energy is fluid. You can take on any sign at any time. If you feel guided to a reading, if you feel like there's something in there for you, watch that reading. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into it. For Libra, please and thank you. Spirit, what have we got today? For Libra, I saw fate. Yeah, fate. Destiny. I heard fortune and fame. Get ready. Buckle up. Ooh. Try to keep your hands inside the ride. <laughs> we have self-care, Libra. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Obstacles. Unhealed wounds were blocking forward move. Ooh. Ooh, it says unhealed wounds are, but I channeled unhealed wounds were blocking forward movement. Libra, you're remembering who you are. Some of you may have taken a little bit of a pause. It is time to press play. Ooh, I love that. It is time to press play. Somebody really connects with music. regret somebody feels remorse for the way they treated you I kind of feel like somebody may have created an obstacle for you and when you overcome that obstacle they're gonna regret it it's almost like immediately it's reminding me of probably because i do it uh, when somebody doesn't believe in you doesn't that give you extra momentum not just to prove them wrong but to prove you right That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, those of you that may have taken a minute to have to heal whatever it was that somebody um, or maybe even yourself did um, that caused this pause, that caused this delay, that caused the, the obstacle that we're having to clear out now. Um, I don't think it's going to happen again. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say that's, that's, um, somebody's learning. You're not the one to mess with. For others of you, you're learning that you deserve better, and let's let's not do that to ourselves again, right? Um, yeah. This could be a major thing. This could be a minor thing. I don't know. It's very personal to each and every one of us, right? So I love myself completely and unconditionally. You bet. 24 breaks down to a six. Balance, harmony, healing, innocence, newness, Balance, balance, balance is what I'm hearing. Look at that lotus flower. You know the life. You know the love. You know the protection. The lotus flower has such a peculiar story, too. The lotus flower can only survive in some murky, muddy, nasty water. And it comes up to the surface of the water every time the sun starts touching the water. And then when the sun rests at the end of the day... It goes back down to the murky, muddy depths of the nasty water it's in. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. So beautiful. It's also a symbol of fertility, meaning the things that you're trying to grow, including yourself, your blessings, your new beginnings, your manifestations, all of it, your friendships, your career, Nine of Swords. 
I heard instant karma. As soon as you overcome the obstacle, this is you either clearing the karmic slate that you oopsie daisy created for yourself <laughs> or um, it's almost like somebody feared you doing what you said you were going to do. Somebody was worried that their blockage didn't stop you, that their disbelief in your success was going to get you to give up and do something else. I very much feel like someone did not want you to surpass them in some aspect. Maybe this is coming from my shadow. I don't really know, but sucks. Sucks, bro. Guess you should have had a little more faith. Not just in yourself, but in the people around you. Seven of Pentacles. It came out sideways, though. Yeah, we're no longer investing in this energy, in this fear. No, now we have that extra boost of confidence and motivation to push through whatever that fear was. The Queen of Pentacles, and you know it. Yes. This is your worth and your value, that self-care. I love myself enough to not feed into my fear. That is exactly what that's saying right there. I love myself enough to learn from my mistakes and not repeat them. I love myself enough to not let people instill their negativity into me. I do not receive that. You can keep your doubts. I don't want them. That's not for me. I know what's for me. You don't need to. Feel how you need to. Three of Cups. You have a whole team, physical and spiritual. You are, yeah, again with the protection. Look at that. You are so protected from anything that tries to lurk around spirits like, hey, you have a spiritual alarm system. Even your intuition is like, hmm, something feels off here. Because there is something off. <laughs> maybe you questioned your intuition and you did something that you kind of felt like maybe you shouldn't have. And now you're like, okay, yeah, maybe I, I jumped into that a little bit quick. And right, you're, you're evaluating where we went wrong here so that we know not to do that again. Or it could be somebody else that tried to do this to you. And they're like, okay, yeah, not going to do that again. Shouldn't have done it in the first place. It could even be both. Maybe as you are healing the things that you have um, regretted, other people around you that may have been also doing the same are regretting it as well. Yeah, this is a collective. This is a collective thing for the whole situation, for everyone involved here. Anyone that stood in your way, including yourself, is going to regret that. Because of the amount of success that you have. This could even be you saying, man, why didn't I do this sooner? As I said that, the page of wands comes out. <laughs> why didn't I do this sooner? Why did I wait so long? Divine timing, of course. <laughs> but um, it doesn't really matter because you're here now. You're making these decisions now. You're putting up your boundaries. You're standing your ground. You're setting your goals and you're achieving them. And you do not receive the blockages. You do not receive the hate. You're not letting it penetrate who you know yourself to be and what you know your worth and value to be. Get on my level, says Libra. Or get out my way, says Libra, right? Yes. Libra, you bad and you know it. <laughs> I freaking love you for it. We have Capricorn energy here. I am going to leave it right there with also the side note that the page of wands is also my good news card. So like you already have the success 
and then even more good news is coming in. So, like, again, buckle up and get ready because whew, it's about to get real good. Like, real, real, real good here, Libra. Oh, I love this. I'm going to leave it there. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. All right. I love yous. Until then, stay beautiful.